Republican Ken Buck already announced in November that he wasn't seeking re-election in 2024, but this week he made another announcement. He's not even going to finish out the remainder of his term, and he's ducking out early. And this decision has enormous consequences for the broader Republican Party, and it especially has consequences for uh, Lauren Boebert, who may have just been screwed over by this decision, and predictably, she is f***ing pissed and she accused the uniparty of rigging the election against her in an appearance on steve bannon's war room so let's watch the uniparty is trying to do everything that they can to stop my candidacy to rig the election in colorado and uh you know this is breaking news as of yesterday ken buck's announcement yesterday was a gift to the uniparty the establishment concocted a swampy backroom deal to try to rig an election, an election that I'm winning by 25 points, forcing an unnecessary special election when the same day as the primary election in Colorado. And this will confuse voters and it will re result in a lame duck congressman on day one and leave the fourth district with no representation, for more than three months. This is absolutely unacceptable. I believe that this is selfish. Yeah, so coping and seething aside, I do think that she's right, that this is confusing to voters because it is true that the special election and the GOP primary for the same seat, mind you, is taking place on the same day, which is June 25th. But the question is, why not just run in both? What's the problem? Well, the problem is that in order for her to be eligible to compete in the special election in the fourth district, she would have to vacate her seat in the third district, which would then trigger a special election in her district and potentially hand that seat over to a Democrat, which further threatens the Republican slim majority in the House. But if she doesn't run in this special election and give up her seat, it's going to be even harder for her to win that seat. As The Hill explains, both parties will nominate candidates for the June 25th special election for the 4th District being vacated by Buck. Whoever wins that contest to fill out the remaining months of Buck's term could have an easier path to winning the election in November to serve a full two-year term representing the fourth district in congress so the question is will she potentially sacrifice herself to maintain the gop's majority or will she put herself first to maintain her seat in congress at the expense of the gop's majority well, she's actually opting for the former. In a tweet complaining about Ken Buck's decision to retire early, she has announced, I will not further imperil the already slim House Republican majority by resigning my current seat and will continue to deliver on my constituents' priorities while also working hard to earn the votes of the people of Colorado's 4th District who have made clear they are hungry for a real conservative. So here's what that means for her. The New York Times explains that means she needs to convince Republican voters in her newly adopted district to vote for one Republican in the special election against the Democrat while simultaneously voting for her in the primary. That will be no mean feat in a district where she is already facing the carpetbagger aspersion. So this is basically the worst case scenario for Lauren Boebert and whatever chances she had of losing the primary. I think that just increased substantially. And from her standpoint, she feels like the establishment is trying to ice her out. And I say this because she retweeted a video from Dan Bongino saying exactly that. She can't be the general election, special election candidate to replace Buck and then be the primary candidate for the November election for Congress in the fourth because she'd have to leave her seat to run in a special. Yes. Damn, that sounds like they're trying to ice Lauren Boebert out of the seat. Yes. Now, I don't think it's wrong to think that she isn't liked by the Republican Party establishment to the extent that the old guard still exists and has control. But this isn't necessarily a coordinated campaign by Republicans to ice her out because the date was set by Colorado's Democratic Governor Jared Polis. And this decision by Ken Buck to not serve the remainder of his term was a decision that he made because he feels like the MAGA chuds in the party like Lauren Boebert have actually iced him out. And this was explained on Fox News. Did he say specifically why he's leaving and the timing of this decision? 
Yeah, I, I, just, I just looked at his statement a second ago here, so this is just coming in uh, as we get it here. But, uh, you know, he had indicated that he was going to step down. Uh, he, mm -hmm. You know, he had expressed a lot of concern here about how things were going. Um, you know, he actually put forth a resolution not long ago. He was still engaged in legislation to try to invoke the 25th Amendment uh, to remove uh, the president because of what was said in the Robert Hur report about whether or not the president was fully with it. That hasn't gotten any consideration here. But uh, that demonstrates that Ken Buck was, was working on this right up to the end. He also was at odds with his party. You might remember that he was one of three Republicans who voted against the impeachment of Alejandro Mayorkas, mm -hmm. the Homeland Security Secretary here. Uh, you know, he, he's a conservative. He doesn't like what Mayorkas had done, but he thought that it was a bridge too far to impeach Mayorkas, only the second uh, cabinet secretary ever impeached. So he was at odds with parts of his party for quite a long time there, Sandra. And keep in mind that those are just some of the recent issues that he vocalized about his own party. But when he announced his retirement back in November of last year, he also condemned Republicans like Boebert for spreading the big lie, saying, quote, I always have been disappointed with our inability in Congress to deal with major issues. And I'm also disappointed that the Republican Party continues to rely on this lie that the 2020 election was stolen. If we're going to solve difficult problems, we've got to deal with some very unpleasant truths or lies and make Make sure we project to the public what the truth is. So he's bitter, and I would be too if I were him. He thinks that people like Lauren Boebert are destroying the Republican Party, and they're part of the reason why he's retiring. So he had the chance to give the MAGA chuds one last middle finger and do to them what he felt was being done to him, and he took that opportunity. And now Boebert feels like she's the one being pushed out, and maybe that's true to an extent, but from Ken Buck's perspective, she's getting a taste of her own medicine. But in conclusion, I have absolutely no idea what the hell is going to happen now because she's lost every single straw poll, which are unscientific. But the one poll that has been conducted in this district, she has a pretty commanding lead of 25 points. So I don't know what's going to happen now that the special election has been thrown into the mix. It just feels like a complete mess and chaos. And I'm here for it, though. So uh, we don't know where she stands, but I will continue to keep you updated on this race, because if this is the beginning of the end of Boebert, I'm here for it. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Re recovery mode, my brain ideas.